Western forces of Texas and California will be welcomed back to these United States as soon as their illegal secessionist government is deposed. Well, the Civil War stars Kirsten Dunst and Nick Offerman, the setting is in the modern day, but not in the 1860s. But it is in the U.S. of the war again, so it's really not that far-fetched. Joining us this, this afternoon to dive into it is movie critic Kathy Kaiser. Kathy, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, of course. I mean, let's talk a little bit about this movie. Uh, what did you like about it and what did you hate? If anything. <laughs> I was going to say, well, it's very close to home. Like, yeah, it's like, kind of realistic. <laughs> right, very realistic, right? And I left the theater thinking a lot about how close to home it actually mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. right? None of us want to go back to the 1860s. No. None of us want our military involved one way or the other, mm -mm. right? <laughs> step it back a step or two, right? Was it so realistic that it was almost scary? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh. Now, A24 makes cutting edge films. Okay. Like, they normally don't do films that are run of the mill, mm -hmm. love story type mm -hmm. situations. They're right? putting it right in your face. We're going to talk about exactly. it. Exactly. This is a real love story. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we are definitely going to talk about it. We're definitely going to feel it throughout the entire movie. Was there anything that you didn't like about the film? The uncomfortableness, I really didn't okay, like. So that, right? that's really like the big overarching feeling and theme that you get. Right, right. You know, I mean, Kirsten Dunst is way beyond bring it on. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. <laughs> She's no longer a cheerleader. No. <laughs> She's a journalist. But um, a journalist covering a civil war in our country this day and age mm -hmm. was unsettling just from the trailers. But the movie itself was so powerful and so overwhelming. I like, yes. that you, I like that you said that because I watched the trailer. I have not seen the film. Obviously, you're here telling us about it. <laughs> but I have not seen the film, and the trailer alone mm -hmm. had me, right. my, my mind just kind of spinning. Right. So the fact that you said it was unsettling, but it was also powerful. Absolutely. In what ways was the film powerful? The characters are so lifelike mm -hmm. and so real, mm -hmm. right? Which, you know, I love, yeah. right? It made it that much more scary. Hmm. That means to... they did a good job. Exactly. <laughs> they did a really good job. They did a really good job. Okay, well, how many popcorns are we going to give? Okay, we're going to give it four out of five. Okay, we'll say four out of five. Four out of five, that's, that's actually a hard rating in your book. I know, oh, it is. We'll we we'll don't give that. those five out of fives too often, you right? You don't give your four out of five. <laughs> Definitely a film that we have to go see. It is out in theaters now, so you have to check it out, St. Louis. And our next film that we're discussing today, it is kind of how art imitates life. Let's look at the greatest hits. Can I ask you a weird question? Yeah, weird away. If something happened to you, and I could stop it, but it would mean we would never meet, would you want me to? Now, this film seems pretty incredible. The main character's name is Harriet, and it's played by Lucy Boynton. She finds certain songs that transport her back in time, literally. This is a really cool concept to play out. It's, it's a really cool concept, you know, and it's very intricate for everyone in their lives. There's things that happen in your life, whether it's, you know, love-related or not. Mm -hmm that you're listening to a particular song that you reference back to, mm -hmm. right? It, I, it's so funny, I just had this conversation with someone else. I said, I remember this, and you know, I tried out for the cheer team to this song, and I remember getting my heart broken to this song, and to see it kind of on the screen, right? It's something that we all can relate to. Everybody who watches this film, and it's only streaming on Hulu, so everybody who watches this film is gonna be connected in some way to it. Now, I have to laugh because I only knew four of the songs through the whole entire movie, which means they didn't make it for my generation or for me. Yeah, that's okay. That is okay, okay, right? I did have a couple point of references, mm -hmm. you know, which is all you need. Right. That's all you it's need, so, right? What was your biggest takeaway from this film? She's really battling with herself. She's really she's battling with herself. Like, do I want to choose the past? 
Or do right. You go forward with depression? We all fight with depression. We all fight with loss, mm -hmm. right? We've all had loss in our lives. That's the main variable in this film, is a great loss, right? That she references back to at every point. How do you move on, right? How do you move on from that great loss in your life? And the movie tells you how you have oh to do gosh. it, well, I right? Can't wait to see it, and I like—I love that you kind of kind of broke that down because we do all experience that. Right. Whether it's someone that we know loved and passed away is no longer here with us, maybe a child, romantic partner—we've right. all been through it. How can we grieve and move forward? Exactly. How many popcorns are we giving this? We're giving it three out of five. Okay, we'll take three out of five, and you can catch that one on Hulu St. Louis if you're also interested in keeping up with what's out in films, or if you also want to see what's going on in the streaming world, all you have to do is follow that and chat with Kathy Kaiser on Facebook and on X. We'll make sure you have access to all of those details on our website at studiowestl.tv. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back after this.